Hey everyone, welcome on Davis Tag. And now let's begin the Flutter journey. In this video, we are going to talk about that how you can create your first Flutter project and how you can set up your mobile for the USB debugging, which means you are allowing your mobile to debug your app. So those two things we have to cover in this video. So let's create a Flutter project first. To create a Flutter project, just open your VS code on any empty folder and go on a terminal and inside the terminal type a command called flutter create and the app name so there is a restriction that app name should be in a small letter no in a camel case or in a capital letter just put your app name on a small letter like uh, my app name will be my first app so here you can see that all the letter are here in a small not in a capital or any camel case format and when you hit the enter then all the dependency will be installed and automatically a folder will be created the name of the folder will be the same as you provided on the app name and you will find that here all are the dependency related to the flutter are here okay so let me do one quick thing that i will open this folder with help of the VS code and here you will find that all the dependency of the flutter are here you will find that popspec.yaml file is created and you will find that why we need the popspec.yaml file in the later coming videos but you have to just bother about this leaf folder nothing much just go on a leaf folder and inside the leaf folder a main.dart file is created all the code are written inside main.dart file as of now okay so if you go on a main.dart file you will find the main method as well and in a main method you will find the run app method here in a run app method we are just calling the my app class so don't worry about the code as of now we will launch this app which is created by the flutter for the beginner okay but before I will launch this app, first thing first that we have to set up our mobile, our Android mobile for the USB debugging and how you can do it. So let me show you that how you will do it. So in your mobile phone, just find the setting and inside the setting, just go on the tab of the about phone. Inside the about phone, just find where is your bill number. For my case, bill number is here. And if you click on a bill number again and again, 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 then automatically a pop-up kind of thing will be come in your bottom so just click on it until you become the developer for my case i am already a developer that's why it's saying that kind of message but if your case you are not a developer then you will become a developer after 5 to 10 time click on the build number so after you become a developer just go on a additional setting for my case inside the additional setting I have the developer option but for your case if it is not there just find the developer option first inside the developer option you will find that there is a usb debugging radio button is there just find the usb debugging radio button so allow the usb debugging from your mobile phone so with help of this usb debugging you can download the flutter app on your mobile phone so that's it that thing you have to do that you have to become the developer and also you have to allow the usb debugging so after allowing the usb debugging when you plug your phone to your laptop then you will find your phone is listed on your vs code here you can see that my phone name is here which means we can now debug our flutter app on our phone so let's do the debugging and let's start our flutter app on our phone for that we have the two options if you know in the last video one of the packages we installed on a vs code that was the flutter with help of this package what we can do we can launch the flutter app with help of the f5 keyword and automatically the panel will come where we have multiple options like pausing the app or stopping the app or refreshing the app okay so it will gonna take some time because at the first time when you start your flutter app it takes some amount of time so please have a patience when you launch your first app on your phone 
so till that i'm just pausing the video so after the process will complete it your app will be launched on your phone you can see that a app is launched and in this app already some ui is provided by the flutter team that here we have the app bar that is saying flutter demo home page and here we also have a floating action button when you click on a floating action button then automatically the number will be increased so this is the boilerplate code already provided by the flutter team don't bother about this code as of now we will gonna learn all of this thing from the next videos the second thing i wanted to show that if you don't use the flutter plugin provided by the flutter so how you can launch your app you can launch your app with the command flutter run with the help of the flutter run command you can launch your app this will do the same thing as you did using the f5 so it will gonna take some amount of time again to launch the app so from the next video we are going to learn about the basic widgets so widget is a basic building block for the flutter so if you are a background of the react then you will find that in a react we have a similar kind of keyword that component same kind of thing we have in a flutter which is the widget so widget is a very basic building block in a flutter with help of the widget only we create our flutter app so from the next video we are going to learn about the some basic widget like the material app scaffold container those kind of thing i will gonna cover one by one but for that we have to show the positive response to this series this series are getting very low response that's why i'm making video very not very frequently so if i will get a positive response then i'm going to upload video on this series as well as soon as possible so the app is now installed with the help of the flutter run command and you can perform the plus operation over here again but there is a disadvantage when you use the flutter run then you will not get the panel so when you use the f5 then you will get here a panel where you have a multiple option like pausing the app or refreshing the app or stopping the app but here refresh for the refreshing you have to use the shift r or control shift r or for stopping the app you just have to hit the control c those things you have to do manually with help of the command but here when you use the f5 then you get the multiple option like refreshing the app or stopping the app or pausing the app so i will recommend always use the f5 so thank you all in the next video we are going to cover some of the basic widget and please stay tuned and help me to grow this channel thank you all happy coding see you on a next video